Hi everyone! Today this is part six of my nail polish collection. We're getting down to the wire. Um, we can start with what I have on, which is New Bar. This is New Bar. It's called Pharaoh's Purple. And this is a polish. It's not available to me around here anywhere. I ordered that off of um, Amazon. And, but I really like the polish. I like the formula and it goes on really good. Um, next to that, this is one that my friend Nick sent to me called Nina's Pro. And the color, this says something about Caribbean blue. And it does look like ocean water, doesn't it? It's really a pretty one. I've worn that one quite a bit. Um, next to that is this cover girl. This is called Cherries. Let me get my glasses on. Cherry Brandy. And it's coming across on the screen more orange. It is more of a cherry color than that. It looks rusty, but it's more of a cherry color. Um, next to it, this one is a L'Oreal polish that I have had forever. It was in my medicine cabinet and it's called Ragin' Cajun. I don't ever remember wearing it or where it even came from. But look at that. I've got that one. Um, Next to it, this is a Sinful Colors polish, and this is one that my friend Indy sent to me. She sent, this was included in my little birthday package that she sent to me, and this is called Dream On. And it's one of those neon colors, and you can see that it dries matte, but I bet if you put a top coat over it, it would look really pretty. And I haven't had a chance to wear that one yet. Um, this one is another Sinful Colors one that I've never worn. I bought this one. It's called Rich in Heart. And I just think it is really pretty. It's that really dark, rich brown, red. Anyway, I've never worn that one. Um, and then next to that one, this is another L'Oreal. This one is called Because You Are Worth It. I did wear this one. This was part of my Sunday series. You know, that's where I wear a polish that I own, but for some reason I've never worn it. So, and this was one of them that I had owned for a long time and I had never worn, but I did end up wearing it. That's uh, because you're worth it. And this one next to it is a Catrice polish, and this is one that my friend Nick just sent to me, and it's um, something about Mars. I just wore this last week when I got it. Brown No Mars is the name of it. And I really like this polish. I wore it for a few days. This one is one of those when the light hits it, it's kind of got different colors to it. I like that one. Brown No Mars. This one I haven't worn yet. I almost was going to put this on my toes today, but I didn't. This is called Hip Queens Wear Blue Jeans. And it's a, just a real creamy, blue jeany color. And this is by Catrice. And these are the ones that my friend Nick sent to me. Um, she lives in Ireland. And this is a gosh polish that... This one is called Purple Heart, and I love this one. It's kind of a duochrome. It reminds me a lot of Naughty by Revlon, but it's not exact. But I love all that, the duochrome and the, how when the light hits it, it's a different color. And that's a gosh. And then there's one more. Oh, I missed it. This one I skipped over. 
This is from Catrice. And this one is called Genius in the Bottle. And this is that real pretty kind of a gasoline looking, uh, I don't know what they call it, duochrome maybe? I don't know, but that's this one. And you can see when the light hits it, it sometimes it's green and sometimes it's blue. Anyway, so I kind of skipped over on that one. Um, we did that one though, and that was Hip Queens, where, and then, oh, we were on the gosh. This is the pur Purple Heart. This is another gosh polish, and this one is called Dusty Rose. And this is a really nice polish. Um, this one is a real neutral, and as you can see, it kind of does the mannequin hand thing. But, you know, everybody needs a neutral polish. Um, this is Nails Ink, and this is called Fashion's Night Out. And it's a real pretty navy blue with a little bit of shimmer. Not like glitter, but more like a shimmer. And this is one coat. This is a one coat polish. Um, the one next to it is also a Nails Ink. And it is called, I need my glasses, Fobart's Place. I know Nails Inc. names all their polishes after streets in London. So this is Fobart's Place. And it's kind of a, one of those, it's green, but it kind of looks brown sometimes. But I like that one. And then this one is a model zone. Again, this is a polish that Nick sent me. These are available in the UK. And this one is called Disco Mix. And that's what I'm wearing as an accent today on both of my ring fingers. Is this Disco Mix. I think that's a really pretty color. Um, one of the other models own that she sent to me which I think I may put on next is this one and it is called purple blue and there's lately there's been a lot of blog posts written about this polish and there's kind of a lot of buzz about it purple blue it's really pretty and this is the here it is swatched here um Oh, this was the uh, L'Oreal, because you're worth it. This one, these two polishes, I just bought these at Ross for like $1.99 or 99 cents maybe. No, $1.99. I had never heard of this brand. And this is the, this one swatched. I don't know that they have a name on them. But let me see. I don't believe there was a name on either one of them that I could see. Anyway, I bought this one and I bought this one. And I had this one on yesterday and I love this polish. This was really nice. I love the formula. It would go good with my lipstick that I have on today. So it's Cosmetic Arts is the name of the company. So if you ever see that polish, um, you might try it. I think it's really nice. Anyway, that brings us back to the new bar where we started. So that's it. That's it for part six of my nail polish collection. Um, one thing I want to show you, I don't know if I've showed you guys or not, I know I did on Twitter, but I got this new bracelet. It's a cross with the evil eye. Miss Kristen321 wears one every day. And um, I asked her where she'd gotten it, and she'd gotten it from an Etsy shop. And I went to Etsy, and there are 
page after page after page of these types of bracelets and not very expensive either but so I kind of just saved it I was going to wait and look at it later but I went to TJ Maxx that day and they had this one for ten dollars so this one had my name on it so that's that's my Miss Kristen bracelet anyway I really like it um, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.